Jim McLean, uh, probably as you say, moulded you as a coach. When you look back on the things you achieved together, like 1983, the corner shop team winning a title, you know, Roma in the semi final of the European Cup, what was it like working on Jim McLean? <laughs> <laughs> it was always interesting with Wee Jim. Wee Jim was, uh, Wee Jim's, his family, uh, we were talking about him earlier on. <laughs> I got a family, I obviously got to know them all. You know, they're all the same, they're all daft. There's a madness a lot of them. Lee Tam's the only sensible one hanging out, you know, amongst them, the two other brothers. I was telling the boys that uh, earlier on, we, we had got to the Reserve League Cup final and we put to play Air United. And Jim's the manager, Dundee United, and Molly's the manager at Air United. And we had, uh, we had, um, we had a, we were reserve team at uh, Wisconsin down and, we had a lot of injuries and illness, so he asked his brother if he could put the final off. And his brother refused. <laughs> he says, I'm, 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 not, I'm not putting the game off, you've got to bring a team. He said, I can't bring a team, they're all injured. He said, you need to bring a team down. He said, they wouldn't do it. So the league told us that the game was going on. And uh, then we, we were supposed to go. So we jumped says, no, we're not going. And just didn't go, we just never turned up. <laughs> <laughs> so we all had in the paper. You know, he had ordered a thousand buys for the game. <laughs> um, and um, that was it. It's uh, never turned up. We're going to charge you. So we got fined. We lost the final. Um, and, I went, and then I spoke to each other for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I, I, I mean, I'm serious. They never spoke to each other for 10 years. And they used to, they used to do their Christmas presents. Uh, and used to meet in a lay-by. And go away. That's true. Honestly, I mean, that's, that's true. There was that, there was that madness here. But we jump was, uh, we jump was fantastic in the football. Great in the football. I mean, management wise, I don't think in the present day with his style would have gone down very well. <laughs> but um, he's seriously mad. Um, but, uh, you know, and his, his, his post-match summation of the games, half-time and everything great. Fantastic uh, football and knowledge and uh, great at, at putting a team together and getting the best out of um, the players that he had. Uh, it, was, it was terrific. And, um, you know, he should have won. Uh, Dundee United should have won more over a period of time, I always think. And in Jim's case, you know, when he went on, he was just too desperate. There was just a, there was a kind of manic bit about him, you know, that, that maybe, maybe, just maybe, um, just didn't allow the freedom that was maybe required to, to go and, um, and win a final. But I must admit, it was a big influence in my career, I mean, coaching-wise and, and everything. He, he taught me a lot. And, um, as I say, his, his planning, his detail, his, his, what he wanted players to do, he was, he was brilliant at it. And um, you know, um, I don't think you know maybe quite gets the credit for for um, the amount of work that he did. If you consider he was I think, manager for 21 years at Dundee United, and 20 of those years the, he put his team out of Europe, which is a quite a remarkable achievement for a, a provincial club in, in Scotland to keep that level of consistency. Considering that you lose your best players, you know, right for even the time when I started playing, Andy Gray, you know, Raymond Stewart, um, others all had to be transferred. Richard Goff had to, had to go, he had to keep transferring them, keep bringing them in, his team changed. Um, to do that, I think it's a, it's a fantastic achievement. Um, yeah, and I think um, he really maybe had to go to, to Rangers or Celtic to. Um, can kind of enhance his reputation and maybe show that he could win more, but he never did that. Um, but uh, fantastic career on the rest.